I'm really hopeful uh, about progress um, in this field and one of the reasons why I'm hopeful is because we've made a tremendous number of technological advances. We have new tools that can use specific genes to label specific neurons in the brain. You know, we have uh, devised ways to measure cognition um, in, in laboratory animals so we can see how targeting specific pathways in the brain uh, might improve or, or worsen cognition in ways that are relevant to schizophrenia. We have tools for turning on and off particular sets of neurons. Um, we have computational tools for looking at big data sets and seeing patterns that we never were able to see before. So the flip side of all these tools is that obviously uh, they're expensive um, and they require resources. And so, you know, what we as researchers really benefit from is uh, when individuals or foundations um, <clears throat> can say, hey, you know, I, I, I see that there's this project and this key piece of equipment is what you need to, to make that project happen. And, you know, I, you know, we get contributions and sometimes they're small contributions that, that help us, uh, you know, buy some supplies and sometimes they're big contributions that help us um, fund uh, people working on the project for a few years. Um, but all of those give us the resources we need to really take all these modern technological tools, take all these uh, you know, things that the you know, revolutions in computer science and data analysis and, and big data approaches are, are giving us and, and use them, kind of leverage them to tackle these problems.